Well, greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we're in Psalm 67, reading verse 4 from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Father God, we are so grateful for all the ways that you provide abundantly for us. And so, Lord, we come into your holy presence this day to pause and to reflect on your word, to listen for your still small voice, speaking a word of encouragement and hope into our hearts and lives as we continue on our journey with you. And so, God, we pray that you would quiet within us any voice but your own in the name of Jesus Christ, in whose precious name we pray. Amen. So Psalm number 67, verse 4. Let the whole world sing for joy, because you govern the nations with justice and guide the people of the whole world. Salah. When we, we are in Christmas week, that the week leading up to Christmas, the, the time when we celebrate the Savior's birth, and rejoice in all that the Lord has done for us and provided for us. And the psalmist says, let the whole world sing for joy. And as I reflected on that verse, I wondered, what is your favorite Christmas carol? What is your favorite Christmas song? or music. Some might say the Messiah. Some might say, O Holy Night, or In the Bleak Midwinter, or Silent Night, or O Little Town of Bethlehem. There are a multitude of carols and hymns and songs that have been produced over the years that touch our hearts and remind us of the truth that God sent his one and only son into the world to dwell among us, to make his home in us. And it is that reason that we celebrate Christ's birth, why we celebrate Christmas, because it is that time when we pause and we give God thanks and, and rejoice in this wonderful thing that God has done for all humanity. And so the psalmist says, let the whole world sing for joy because you govern the nations with justice. You see, we serve a God who governs with justice, with love and mercy and grace. He is a just God, and he forgives our transgressions and casts them as far as the east is from the west, says the psalmist, and he remembers them no more. And in as much as the world wants us to believe that the Bible is hate literature and that Christianity is not a, a, a religion based on love but on hate, uh, that is, couldn't be farther from the truth. Because we serve a God of love, whose love is so great for his people, his beloved children, that he was willing to spare his one and only son, to suffer and die on the cross, to bear our sin upon himself, to redeem us, to pay our sin debt in full, to set us free from the bondage of sin. And he is a just God. <clears throat> and he governs the nations with justice. That, that great verse from Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And he will rule the nations with justice. He will rule the nations like no other king has ruled. He's not a dictator. He, 
He is not one who demands unrealistic things from his people. In fact, Jesus gave us one commandment, only one. And that, that commandment is to love one another. Just as he loved us, so shall we have love for one another. And in this, people will know that we are his disciples, his followers. That's the God that we serve. That's the Savior in whom we place our hope and our trust and our faith. He is the God who governs the nations with justice and guides the people of the whole world. Almighty God guides us each and every day when we seek him with our, our whole heart. When we walk humbly with him, when we surrender ourselves to his will being done on earth as it is in heaven. And this Christmas season is a time for us to pause and to reflect on our lives and to reflect on what God has done and what God continues to do in and through us. That God is, is a miracle working God. And he is the one who is able to transform our hearts and to draw us closer to him. And so, because of that truth, we are able to sing for joy. For the redemption won for us through his one and only son, Jesus Christ. We're able to sing for joy because of all the ways and means by which he provides abundantly for us. We're able to sing for joy because he has looked with favor upon us and has saved us from the time of trial. We're able to sing for joy because he loves us. We are his prized possession. We are precious in his sight. And he's loved us from the very beginning. And he loves us still. And his desire is that we would be one with him. And so that's why so many of the Christmas carols that we sing reflect that joy. Now, obviously, you know, there are carols with that in it, you know, joy to the world. How Christian men rejoice. But there are others, too, that reflect that, that rejoicing in all that the Lord has done. And so, friends, I encourage you this day, ask Holy Spirit to, to put a song in your heart this day, a song of joy to the Lord in your heart this day. And sing it with your whole heart to God. Because he delights when you offer your songs of praise which come from your heart toward him. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for all the ways and means by which you meet us where we are in the midst of life. And you help us. You provide abundantly for us. You encourage us and strengthen us for our journey. And so, God, we pray that you will continue to guide and uphold us this day that you will lead us with your mighty outstretched hand, and that you will pour out your wisdom upon us, giving us the words to speak, words of hope, words of encouragement, words of life, so that all who see us, all who hear us, will recognize that you abide in us, that we are yours, and that through us they may be drawn closer to you. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for your word, which encourages us and strengthens us for our journey. We pray, O oh God, that you will continue to guide us and uphold us as we draw closer to you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 
Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.